from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Please help us welcome from Nighttime Ninja, Ed Young! Good morning. Sounds like you have a lot of fun today. Um, this is going to be a really quiet thing, so we have to quiet down. It's about a mystery story. And you know it. You, you have heard of Ninja, right? You like Ninja? I like Ninja too. You know, I got, I got this story called Ninja. Have you seen this book yet? If you haven't, I'll read it to you this morning. But before I read it, I want you to tell you this, uh, how I came upon this book. I was making a book called The House Baba Built. And it took me two years to do, and I got really frustrated with the book. And in the meantime, I was cleaning my drawers, and a little book came out by this person called Barbara DeCosta. It's a little booklet that he, she's made herself and fell out of my drawer. And I read it. It has 99 words in it. And that 99 words became a book. It came out just after the house Papa built. And I'm going to read you this story, and I want you to imagine what that, the pictures will look like before I show it. You have to be very quiet because it's a nighttime story. Are you ready? The clock struck midnight. Everything was quiet. Hand over hand, the ninja climbed and clambered. Step by step, he balanced and leaped. The house was silent. Everyone was asleep. He crept down the twisting moonlit hallway and knelt in the dark shadows, listening. Look, there it is. The treasure, finally, he took out his tools and went to work. All of a sudden, the light flashed on. What are you doing? thundered the mother. Nothing. And the boy looked up at the mother. He was the danger after all. The mother said, Hand it over, mister. He was stealing ice cream in the refrigerator. But I'm not done with my mission yet. Well, how about getting to bed, mission? So the last page is Sweet Dreams, Nighttime Ninja. So the boy was ninja after all. He was coming down from his bed to steal ice cream in the refrigerator. Okay. I love drawing dangers. That's why I want to do this book. I love a person sneaking around in the dark, looking for things, and nobody knew what he was doing. This is too small for me.
And you know what he carries on him? He carries tools on him. Sometimes large sticks. And sometimes he has a rope that he throws. And on the end of the rope are hooks. He can actually hook onto something and then he can climb on. You know about ninja, right? Probably you know better than I do. And in this one, I want the ninja, the boy pretending that he's outside of the building. And he, he put a hook onto a roof. And then he climbed onto this roof and he goes through a window. And he got inside and he hopped down and he actually clambered across the room. Everybody was asleep. And then he finally came to this room, which is really the kitchen. He opened the refrigerator and found out by his mom. So I want you to see how this book can be very quiet and you believe that it's an angel actually in action. So I started to see what I thought I knew what the hook looked like, but then once I wanted to draw it, I couldn't do it. So I had to do some research about a Japanese house. And I found out the Japanese house don't have a chimney. So the hook has no place to hook on. And luckily, the Japanese house has an eave, and there's a piece of sculpture on top that you can put the hook on. So that's how I got to know about the Japanese house. So I'm going to show you the pictures now on the screen. And then you can also read it with me and find the boy. Is the picture? Oh, you can see it? Okay. Oh, you can see it over there. The clock struck midnight. And this is the eve of the house now. And the hook went up. Now you see the danger climbing across in order to enter the house. And he climbed down on the, and he entered through the window. He jumped and landed in the room. The house is silent. Everyone was asleep. He crept down the twisting moonlit hallway. He knelt in a dark shadow listening. Wait, look. He took out his tools and went to work. That's actually the refrigerator. The light flashed on. It was the shadow of the mother against the light. What are you doing, thundered the mom. Nothing. <laughs> Hand it over, mister. But I'm not done with my mission yet. <laughs> what about getting to bed mission, mister? Good night, sweet dreams, nighttime danger. And then the last picture, the last picture is not here. It's actually a, a can of ice cream with a spoon with the ice cream in it. That was Little Ninjas. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is what it looked like. And then the end pages, you have the ninjas climbing down on the, on the rope. It comes down, each one of the ninja coming down. And the ninja, each ninja became the letter of ninja spelled out. And then that thing repeats itself in the back. And this is the beginning of the story. I have some time for you to ask questions, if you have any questions for me. OK. The boy in green. Commercial of ninjas, but it's I see the commercial. And it's called Ninja Turtles. Um, in the book, there was a ninja. Oh, good. Any hands? Yeah, Puff. No, I um. I didn't watch a movie last night, but no, I was... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Hi, I can never be as cute as them, but um, I'm an elementary school librarian. I'm right here, Mr. Young. <laughs> and um, I've been doing my work for 18 years. And I, right here, hi. Hi. <laughs> I have an eight-year-old. He was fascinated by the ninjas. But um, my favorite is Seven Blind Mice. Oh. And I wonder, um, it's so simple and so profound. And I've taught it to four-year-olds and 12-year-olds. And it works with just every age group. And I'm wondering if you could just talk, is that a Chinese folktale? Um, where that story comes from, because it's just, that book is everywhere. It, you, that book is ubiquitous. It's so beautiful, and it's just the black with the, col with the different colored <laughs> mice. I, I'm just a huge fan, and I just want to thank you for every, every book that you've given us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seven Blind Mice was my favorite when I was a kid. It was actually six blind men and an elephant. It came from India, F from India to China. The China has a proverb, says the blind man and the elephant. And the Chinese thought it was a Chinese story, but actually when I did research, it came from India. The elephant came from India. So um, I was, I was going to do the book. And I found out that if I were to find an elephant, if I were blind, I won't be able to get on top of the elephant to feel what it feels like. So it's not real. So I had to make seven blind men. The blind men had to climb on top, so I said, maybe I should make it an animal. An animal came. The first animal was a monkey, because monkey is known in India. And the monkey eventually became too big and I made it smaller, so it became seven blind mice. So that's how the story evolved. Eventually, it had seven, seven days of the week, and then the seven colors, all of these came in um, to make it a little richer. I love the story, and I still love it. So if you have a chance, oh, um, I, read the book. Yes. Um, I like ninjas a lot, and I actually forgot I was wearing this shirt. It says, it's sacred. Stand up, stand up, okay. stand up. I want to show you what he's wearing. Turn around, turn around. Everybody can see the ninja on his T-shirt. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like to have a shirt like that. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.